Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. That website is eight self improvement lessons that I've learned from 31 years of being a family therapist and an inveterate observer of human beings all my life. I want to offer in this video what I've learned about human behavior. This is part of lesson four. Have you ever wondered why you do what you do? Or why other people do what they do? After thinking many, many years about this, I've concluded that there is one thing that drives all people, young, old, male, female, every race, all types of people. It is needs. That may be a no-brainer. A need is a discomfort. We're all needy critters all the time. We, Because we have six senses, we uh, feel things, emotions, physical sensations, and we range moment by moment from discomfort to comfort. We seek consciously and unconsciously to reduce our discomforts, meaning our needs, and to improve our comfort or pleasure. This may seem obvious to you. In my experience, many people are unaware of what they need. This causes all kinds of personal and social problems and relationship problems. What kind of discomforts do we all try to reduce? In a social context, in a relationship context, think of the things that you dislike or uh, that you like to reduce. How about loneliness? How about boredom? You'd rather have some stimulation within limits. How about anxiety or fear or terror? Um, how about frustration? Frustration is caused, it's a normal human reflex, when we have some needs we can't find a way of filling at the moment. How often are you frustrated? When you are, or do you have the reflex of saying, oh, I'm frustrated, I've got a need I can't fill, what do I need? Many people don't have that simple, powerful reflex. You can learn to do that. How about the discomfort of being aimless and without having a purpose in your life? How about just getting up and going through the motions every day, not feeling you're moving towards some worthy objective? That's a discomfort. There are many discomforts. Each person, each day, has a unique mix of them. The theme here is these discomforts, or the anticipation of discomforts, cause us to act. Our, our needs motivate us. One useful perspective on needs has been provided to us by a psychologist named Abraham Maslow. Six years ago, <clears throat> this was fairly well known, I'm not sure if it is now or not, he proposed something called the hierarchy of needs. Hierarchy of needs. Briefly, he proposed, when we have a group of competing needs, the one that wins out, the one we pay attention to the most, the quickest, the first, is our physical comforts. Hunger, thirst, heat, coolness, pain. We pay attention to trying to reduce our immediate physical discomforts. Would you agree to that? That usually takes precedence over other levels of need. Like, would you rather eat something than balance your checkbook if you're really hungry, ravenous? So he proposed that the most basic need that we pay first attention to are physical, physiological discomforts. If we fill those needs, the second thing he said is we propose we focus on um, arranging security for ourselves, meaning we want some assurance that our physical needs will be met in the near-term future. 
I'm glad to know that I have food in the kitchen, in the icebox, in the cupboard. <clears throat> I know that the air conditioner works or the heater works. So we try and arrange our environment in such a way that we can be assured, at least for some period of short-term time, our physical comfort will be adequate. That's level number two out of five. If we can satisfy level two, he then said, we move to level three needs, which are social. He said, most people need to feel like they are affiliated with or belong to some kind of a group. Could be any kind of a group. The primary group, of course, is a family. <clears throat> most people long to be part of a stable, healthy family. Um, lacking that, we seek membership in a range of other kinds of groups, church communities, neighborhoods, school classes, the military, professional groups. We seek to feel we are a part of a group of other humans with some degree of common interests. Does that match your experience? Is that something that's important to you? Do you want to belong? to a group, whatever you define group as. If we can satisfy those first three levels of needs, then Dr. Maslow said, the next thing we seek to do, consciously and unconsciously, is to be recognized in the group. We need not to be just a faceless non-person. We need for people to see us as an individual, ideally, a worthy individual. Oh yeah, I know Jack. He's a member of our troupe, our drama cast, our orchestra, our squad, our company. So we strive to find a way, um, in many clever ways, to be recognized and affirmed as a unique individual. Does that match your experience? Do you find yourself longing to do that in the groups that you belong to? Has that been true in your life, starting when you were very young? So those are four, a hierarchy of four needs. And Dr. Maslow said, if by chance we can satisfy all four needs consistently, then what people, and I would insert the qualification healthy people, seek to do is to become, his term was self-actualized. <clears throat> that can mean many things. The theme of it is we seek to get clear on who we are, what we're meant to do, what our central life purpose is, and we seek to pursue and manifest our unique life purpose. We, we seek to become a glass blower, blower or an airline pilot, or make champion quilts, or teach disabled children, or raise champion roses, or whatever we're, we're meant to do. Each of us has a unique mosaic of talents, and the mosaic will net out to we're uniquely interested in and qualified to do something important in the world. So, needs motivate your behavior and every person you're ca you care about, those that please you, those that vex you. Relationship problems occur when one or both people don't get their needs met. Problem solving is the eternal quest to try and fill our needs and in relation to other people, that's trying to fill my needs and your needs. That's problem solving. <clears throat> you ever spend time doing that? So the purpose of this video is to alert you and intrigue you. Are you aware, as average hours and days go by, what you need? If you're discontent, if you're unhappy, if you're frustrated, what you can use this information to do is Ask yourself, what do I need right now? And what level of needs am I at? Physical comfort, 
security, the need to belong, the need to be recognized and affirmed, or the need to manifest my unique life purpose. I hope this intrigues you and the next time you're frustrated you have a problem by yourself or with another person, use the skills that you can learn in lesson one of the Break the Cycle website, put your true self in charge, hone the skill of awareness, what's going on inside your skin, your thoughts, your needs, your feelings. Use the skill that you'll learn in lesson two to dig down below surface needs to identify the primary needs and see what alternatives there are to fill them. That leads to serenity and temporary periods of happiness. Piece of cake, huh? Enjoy learning what you need. Thanks for watching.